Earlier in today's broadcast, former FBI agent Jack Tremarco was featured giving a polygraph exam to our guest, Debbie. It is with an amazingly heavy heart that I must share some very sad news. Just a short time ago, we lost Jack to stage four cancer. He was a true American hero and a respected and beloved member of our Dr. Phil family. I always said that Jack was the best of the best and his absence will be felt deeply because no one will ever be able to fill his shoes. You all saw the extremely professional side of him working diligently to help our guest and to get to the truth. But we knew another side of this kind, funny, and gentle man. I had the privilege of meeting and knowing his family. I knew his wife, Nora, his three daughters, Christine, Stephanie, and Sharon, whose nickname was Sissy. She was an FBI agent herself, and I've never seen Jack more proud. Jack was, as I say, a, a true blue American. And this came on him very, very fast. Um, he was such a vibrant and alive man. And when he fell ill so quickly, uh, they took Jack home and his family was at his side. And his daughter, Sissy, told me that he always flew an American flag outside his home. And he would get so upset when it would get tangled up. And she said it was actually tangled up on a windy day when they had taken him home. And she just said, I just knew dad would not like that. And so she went outside, untangled it. And she said, when it came loose, it just really unfurled into the breeze. And she said it was at that exact moment that her father passed. Before I say goodbye today to my good friend, I leave you with a tribute my staff put together to honor Jack's memory. See that guy right there? That's Jack Tremarco, the top polygraph examiner on the globe. He's former FBI. He's trained their polygraphers, conducted over 3,500 polygraph examinations. This guy, he's the guy. If there was something really seriously at stake, whether it was a missing child, an unsolved mystery, maybe even a custody battle when someone was being accused of doing something horrible. Those types of situations call for someone like Jack. The results of this test are non-deceptive, so there's no doubt in my mind that he did not shoot your son on that evening. He did everything to make sure that he understood the guests, he understood the story, he understood the background of everything that was going on. If you're telling the truth, then you'll fly through this test. If that's not something you can pass, then don't take the test. There was no getting over on Jack Chamarco. When a guest walked in the room with him, if they weren't telling the truth, he was gonna find out. I always told the guests, just tell the truth. God help you if you try to lie, because Jack always found out. What I've got you, Gina, is a minus six. In order for you to fail the test, you would have needed a minus four. I'm not lying. Working with Jack Tremarco, it wasn't only just getting a polygraph. Every time he came in, I learned something completely new. He was above and beyond, such a kind and generous man. I would call Jack and he would always answer and he would never say no. He was here anytime we needed him. What's your analysis of this situation? She became agitated, highly emotional, and eliminated herself you could tell he cared a lot about Dr. Phil and cared a lot about the show and a lot about our guests. He just wanted to help us get the answers we needed. Jack, did you feel like there were things that would call into question the results of this examination? No, Dr. Phil, everything was textbook and the results were clear. Jack was not only a colleague, but he, he was a friend and he, he will be missed. He was such a huge integral part of the staff. I will miss Jack dearly. I have a special thanks to give to Jack Tremarco for conducting the polygraph. Special thanks to polygraph expert Jack Tremarco. I consider him to not be competent. I consider him to be the gold standard. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I 
心。